Hey guys, it's Jackson here from Titanic Games, and today we're going to be continuing on with uh, adding functionality to our skill tree now. So um, let's go ahead and dive right in. So let's open up our skill tree, all right? And you'll see um, you should have something pretty similar to this. All I did um, from between the last tutorial was just comment this out as saying close the skill tree. Um, but we're going to do uh, we're going to change this part a little bit, um, and simply we're going to make it a function so that we can call it. Um, like in other places to update the value of our skill points easily. So uh, to do that, we're going to drag over this part, all right, and we're going to right click and go to con collapse to function, all right. So we'll click that, and it'll create a function, all right. So now we can name it, and let's name it simply update skill points, all right. And now you'll notice that it has kind of this little self coming into it. Um, you can have that if you want, but we're actually going to do this without it because we've already created the variable, so we can use it inside the function. So um, with the with the function uh, node selected, I'm going to go to inputs and actually click X to break that. And now let's go into the function. So you should see um, it looks something similar to this now, right? So this is looking for an input, all right? So to do that, we're going to take the character reference, drag it, and drop it onto here. Right, so now all is right in the world. If I compile and save and I press play, press T, you see it's still updating our skill points. Okay, so now we can close that. And uh, let's get to the new stuff. All right, so if you recall, we have these, um, you know, kind of these buttons set up to, um, you know, add different, I guess, upgrades or whatever skills to our character. So, um, we're gonna actually add a way now to, you know, I guess first check if we have enough skill points to upgrade to them, and then if we do, you know, then we'll upgrade and then we'll, you know, make the next one available. So, um, so that means we need to make these two unavailable at the moment. So uh, let's do that first. Let's go ahead and um, select all these buttons really quick. All right, and we're gonna go under appearance, right under style. And we're going to find where it says disabled. Okay, so we'll click that, and we're going to go and change the tint of it so that it has kind of a different color when it's uh, unavailable. All right, so we'll change the tint. I'm going to change it to something like kind of dark gray. All right, hit OK, and then we need to make sure we change the draw as, otherwise it won't show up. So we'll change this to box, and you should see that your color shows up there. All right. You could alternatively have like your own image made and do something similar, uh, but yeah, we're just going to use a tint for now. All right. So next, what we want to do is only make these two, right, superior health and advanced health. We want to make only those two unavailable at the moment. So um, if you click on a button, you can go down to uh, where it says behavior, and you'll see this little um, checkbox here for is enabled. Okay. So by default, everything. All these buttons are enabled, which means you can click on them, it'll register events happening, and all that stuff. Now, um, we don't want this to be, we don't want to be able to click on these yet, so we're going to untick is enabled. Um, so rather than just doing it individually, I'm going to select them both, go to behavior, and then untick is enabled. Okay. So now really quick, if we want to see that, I'll press play, press T, and you can see they're kind of voided out. Now. Um, it kind of it the text is very hard to see, so I guess I'll I'll we'll change the color really quick. Um, but you can see it is working. All right, so yeah, let's change the color. All right, so let's select all of these really quick, and we can go back up to appearance, style, disabled, and we'll click the tint. And since the colors are pretty similar, let's go ahead and just make this pretty dark, and that should be good. All right, so if we compile and save, press play really quick, hit T. Okay, there we go. So we can't click on them, right? There's no hover effect, whereas, you know, we can hover over this one and it kind of shows. So we can see, you know, it's working. All right, so next, um, let's go ahead and start adding the functionality for this. So let's go to our graph, all right? And let's find some open space because we're going to need a lot of space here. And the first thing we're going to do is let's click on our improved health, all right? Now we're going to add an on clicked button or button press event, all right? So whenever we click um, on this button, we want to you know do something. So the first thing we're going to do is we want to drag off, do a branch, 
and we want to check uh, you know if we have enough skill points first okay so we'll take our character reference drag out get it and we'll get our skill points and we'll say is this greater than zero okay because if it is then you know we have enough skill points to purchase it um, and you know if you want to make like different skills require different skill points you know you could do a similar thing right except uh, you know maybe say do we have greater than two right if it requires three skill points right um, so yeah that's a really quick way you could do that anyways uh, leave that to zero right and now if this is true then um, you know then we want to be able to upgrade our health I guess so um, what we're going to do is kind of a, a fail, or I guess not really a fail safe, but just like a, a safety net, is we're going to do a do once, all right? So this will only allow us to click on it and, um, I guess, get the upgrade once. So we'll drag off and we'll say do once, all right? Just the single one, all right? And then off of do once, then we're going to, um, first we want to subtract one from our skill points, all right? Then we'll update our skill points. And then finally, we can, you know, uh, I guess kind of script the effects of that. Okay, so let's first subtract. Okay, and so what we're going to do for that, let's create a new function. And we'll call this subtract skill points. All right, so we'll drag off and um, actually, no, we're not going to drag off yet. First, we got to get our character reference. So we'll get that and we'll drag off and we'll say get skill points all right and then we'll do um, a minus so integer minus integer all right and then finally um, we'll drag off of our character reference again and we'll say set skill points all right and we're gonna set our skill points as the return value of you know this uh, subtraction so plug it in just like that hook up the execute pins and there we go so right now it's only subtracting one by default so if we want to make this a little more customizable we can click on our input here and go to new and we'll add a uh, um, I guess an integer called points to subtract change that to integer right and then we can plug that in here so we'll be able to customize it from outside the function All right, and then lastly um, inside here we will also call this update skill points All right, so update skill points and there we go. So quick refresher, that is that function is getting the current skill points and then setting the text that's seen down here. Okay. So so we've got that function made. So now we can go to our event graph and after the do once, we can drag out subtract skill points. There it is. And then we can specify how many points to subtract. So I'm just going to do one. All right. And then after that, I'm going to just for now print string um, and say improved health. All right, so let's compile and save now. And uh, let's test this out really quick, just see if it's working. So let's press play. And if I press T, now when I click on this, it should, uh, you know, subtract one, and then it should print to the string improved health. So let's click it. There we go. It printed improved health, subtracted a skill point. Now if I click it again, it shouldn't do that, right? Because we only have a do once. All right, so you can see I'm clicking it a bunch, and it's it's working the way we want it, which is great. So now we can close that. Now let's actually add what will happen, okay? So we can delete this print string for now. And what we're going to do is, well, we're going to improve our character's health. So let's drag out um, a character reference, get it. And from here, we'll drag off again and say get max health. All right, because we don't want to increase our current health, we want to increase our max health. Okay, so we'll say get max health. We'll drag off and we'll say plus because we want to add on to this value. And I'm just going to do plus five for this one. All right, and we can also turn this into a function as well, so we can use it for both the AH and the SH. But we can change up these values um, so we don't have to customize it every time. All right, so now um, we'll drag off of our character reference and we want to set the max health now. So we'll say set max health, just like that. Plug in the return value here. And now finally, um, it's kind of like a little, um, 
I guess, upgrade to our overall health or like our current health. Um, you know, we can set the max or the current health as well to the same value. So they're both equal at like whenever you upgrade a skill, I guess. So we'll drag off and we'll say set current health now. And we'll just set it to the same value right here. Um, alternatively, you could just set it to the value of this result maybe, or no, sorry, that's the same exact thing. You could set it to the value of your current health plus five, you know, but I'm just gonna leave it like this for now. So anyways, we can hook this up. All right. And now what we're gonna do is make this a function. So let's right click, collapse it to a function. And let's go ahead and call this uh, upgrade health. All right. So this will be our upgrade health function that we call whenever we upgrade the health skill or whatever. Uh, so let's go into this really quick. And um, to make it more customizable, like I said, we'll add a little input that will take in a float and that'll be how much we add. So uh, with the input selected, go to inputs, click new. We'll call this um, health to add. All right, change that to a float and plug this in right there. Perfect. So if we compile and save and go back to our event graph, you see it's taking in how much we want to add. So we can change this to five really quick. And now it should add five whenever we uh, do this. So um, as a way to visualize it really quick, let's go back into the function. And we can drag off here, say print string. And we'll just simply print out the value of our current health, I guess, which will be equal to our max health. So we should know if it's working. So let's compile and save, press play. And now if I press T, it shows our skill tree. If I press improved health, up in the top corner, printed 105, and our health was originally 100, so we can see it worked. So great. The last thing we're gonna do now is, um, we can actually get rid of this because we don't need it. But yeah, the last thing we're gonna do is go back to the event graph now. And after we've done all this, right, after we've subtracted our skill points, updated the skill uh, text, and upgraded our health, we are going to um, make the next button enabled. All right, so we'll make it able to be clicked on. So let's drag the button out, all right? We'll get it and we'll drag off and we'll say set is enabled and we're gonna set it to true. So now if we test that super quick, if I press play and I press T, I could say improved health and boom. See, it just made the next one ready to be clicked now, all right? So now, um, since we've set up these functions already, we can um, really quickly reiterate over this, okay? So um, let's select our AH and say on clicked, right? And when this is clicked, we'll just copy this. So control W to duplicate, hook it up, just like that. We can do the same for the do once, control W to duplicate, hook it up. And we can take all this, control W as well. So you could have just taken the whole thing. You didn't have to be like me, um, but anyways. Um, and then for this though, I'm gonna change it to maybe two, all right? And then health to add could be 10. And then instead of AH being enabled, we're gonna set SH to enabled, which is the, the last button, all right? So we'll compile and save that really quick. And now if we press play and I press T now, I can go and click improved health, right? It subtracts one for now. Now if I pressed advanced health, it subtracts two. So now if we were to click on this, we wouldn't be able to you know, do anything. So um, I'll just highlight or show how that works really quick by again, taking everything here, um, control W to duplicate it. And we'll do the SH button this time on clicked, move that into place a little bit. And uh, we actually don't need this set is enabled anymore because there's nothing higher than it. So if you wanted to add more, you would just set the next button above it to enabled, I guess. All right. And this time we'll set it to plus 15. Points to subtract could be three. Right. And I'm just really going to quickly or really quickly going to add a print string that will basically just print hello if this works. But it shouldn't, right, because we won't have enough skill points. So just to show really quick, press play, press T, improved health advanced health. Now if I click, it's, you know, if we had enough skill points, it would be printing hello, but we don't. So um, we know this whole little system is working. All right. All right. So thanks for watching. And in the next one, we'll go over adding even more functionality. So thanks guys.